Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are working on part three of our granny mandala. Yay! <laughs> now you're going to love this part and I'll tell you why. Because with this part I explain how you can do parts two and three over and over again making sure you increase on your uh, increase rounds, your double cluster rounds um, until we're ready for a border. <laughs> now you're looking and I'm looking we're both looking and we're seeing these points and we're thinking wait a minute this is supposed to be a circle blanket not a pointed one no that's true now I will make it circular when we are ready to do our border okay the reason it's like that now is because we have to add those extra increases or you won't be able to make it round it'll start to bubble like it was in our previous tutorials for those of you who are new and joining us we had a lot of trouble with bobbling and wobbling <laughs> so um, I've adjusted the pattern so it doesn't bobble and curl okay it will point it will um, but when we are ready to do our border we'll all get together and I'll find a way to stop that point and we can make it round if however you like that look you are welcome to just put a row of single crochet on top of the border and if you're not sure what they are I do have a tutorial here on my um, channel which I will pop the um, link to that tutorial in the description box down below otherwise come back to us in about a week or two weeks time and join us in making the border so that we can make it nice and round and give it a lovely border it will be different to our previous granny mandala that we made because that one there um, made the the circle round and bobbly and that sort of thing like what you see here okay so I'm not going to talk anymore I think we should go ahead and start doing our mandala you will need your crochet hook your scissors and your weaving darning needle um, I've already woven in all my ends except of course that very last end which I will do at the end of the tutorial now but for now guys um, if you're new and you want to do this tutorial please check out the um, parts one and two of this tutorial those links will be in the description box down below and for everybody else let's get together and let's do this tutorial <laughs> good luck okay we're going to start with our orange color uh, because it's your very next color in actual fact it's your very next pattern there too so there you go we will need our scissors and our darning needle at the end of the tutorial we're not going to sit here and show you how to do the weaving in you'll know how to do that anyway we've been doing it all along but we're going to start anywhere you like but i think anywhere above our double cluster sets so let's have a quick look oh wait a minute we should check to see orange purple pink white green blue orange purple pink white green blue orange yes we've got orange next <laughs> okay so just above one of your um, it doesn't matter which one wherever you like to start one of your uh, double cluster sets so pop your hook in anywhere you like okay pull the loop through pop the thread over leave yourself a decent tail so that you can weave it in later even though we're going to crochet over it I would like for us to weave it in later as well so we're going to chain up three one two and three we are going to put two double crochets in there whoops just split the thread there one two and then we're going to chain one and then we're going to put three double crochets in there it's not much different than what we've been doing we're going to try something different in this part of our tutorial now uh, we're still going to be doing the same thing with this row so we're chaining two and we're putting one cluster set in your next space just one because you've only got one down there okay another cluster set in the next oh 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 I've skipped one stitch I do apologize there it's only two stitches I mean two double crochets we need to put three in there chain one and two then we put three double crochets or one cluster set in the next 
chain one and two and then we still put three double crochets or one cluster set in the next chain one and two and in this one because we have the three we are going to put a double cluster set in there so one cluster chaining one in the middle and then another cluster so it's pretty basic so far it's what we've been doing all along for this row so this row is a really a really a basic all right so what you've got here let me bring that out a bit you've got double cluster set chain two now double cluster set is always three double crochets chain one three double crochets this is a little different because we started here okay so double cluster set single 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 so you've got three singles and double cluster set three singles one two three and double cluster set above the other double cluster set one two three double one two three double so on all the way around until you get to there and guess what guys i'm going to meet you up because i'm not going to let you sit here and watch me crochet that whole row <laughs> you guys know what you're doing you're experienced now go all the way through meet me up there and we'll get on for the next row all righty here we go on with our very last now what you should actually have is your double cluster set one two and then your third single set in there so you've chained two let's blow that up a little bit there we go you've chained two there and now you're going to put your single cluster set in there one two and three all right so now we are chaining one i'm sorry two <laughs> my apologies and then we are going to slip stitch oh there's that tight tight stitch again oh it's not too bad I tell a lie it's tight <laughs> here we go we're in <laughs> oh gosh sorry guys there we go we've done chain one pull up your loop give it a cut I actually should always check before I cut and the reason I say that is because there are the occasions that I've accidentally done you know like two double crochets instead of three but I'm pretty sure that's correct okay pretty easy hard that row pretty easy they're mostly all easy now because we've done all the rows over and over and over again the only thing is we're doing them a little differently that's all okay so now your next row the next color will be purple which i've got so far away i'll grab that in a minute um with the next row however uh, if you remember correctly i'm trying to remember what we did we actually did your double cluster sets then we did your um row of triples and then you did your row of triples again instead of doing the row of four now i'm going to take a risk and do a row of no i'm lying do a row of triples first when i say triples three uh cluster sets three clusters one cluster set then i want to do a row of a cluster set with four in it so first we're going to do the row of three and then we're going to put four instead of putting three again like we've done here we're going to do a four okay so I'm just going to pause for a moment so I can get my purple yarn and I'll be back. Just a moment. Sorry about that, guys. I wasn't organised. Very naughty me. Okay, so now we are going to start in an area where we don't have a thread. Now this row, it doesn't matter where you start because it's very, very basic. Okay, you've done it before. So I'm only going to show you a few of them and then you can go away and do it and then we'll return. So these rows are getting very, very long now. So it's taking us longer to complete all right and up we go we're chaining three one two and three remembering to crochet over that thread and remember we're going to actually weave it in as well later see how fussy i am guys <laughs> so you're doing three double crochets or actually two plus the chains now let's blow that up a little bit more easy easy ready chain one and two and then guess what three double crochets in your very next space that you come to chain one and two and again except now you're going to put it in that single space right there between the 
double cluster set, you're going to put three double crochets. One, two, and three. I got the yarn, but I didn't pull it out enough. There we go. Chain two, one and two, and three double crochets in your next space. And two. I'm going fast because I really don't want to show you the whole row, guys. I just want to show you what we need to do. So that's it. You are putting three double crochets in all your chain two spaces and a set of three double crochets in your chain one. And in between, you're chaining two, chaining two, three double crochets, chain two, three, chain two, three, chain two, three, chain two, and three in there, chain two, and so on and so forth, and etc., etc., etc. So go away, do all that, and I shall meet you up when we get to there. Okay, so here we are at the end of the purple row. We've chained two. Oh, it's so far away. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> We've chained two. We are going to pop three double crochets in here, which is the very last chain space we have. And three. Chain two. One and two. And slip stitch in that one there. That was nice and comfortable this time. Usually they're quite tight for me, aren't they? Pull the loop through and snip. All right, so that was your purple row done. Okay, whoops, sorry about that. Your purple row is done. Yay! Now we are going to do um, the next color, which I believe is pink. And this is the color that we are actually going to put four double crochets. Okay, now I didn't do the four double crochets in the earlier piece because I wanted to tighten it up so it didn't wobble. Now, I thought I would try the four double crochets now, and if this works with the other next row, um, then we can actually do parts, this part and that part, over and over and over and over again until our blanket is the size that we like. So fingers crossed that these next two rows work for us, otherwise we're in trouble. <laughs> now, I haven't practiced this yet, so... <laughs> I really hope it works. <laughs> All right, no laughing, Mary, because this is not funny if it doesn't work. <laughs> Everybody's relying on you. Oh, eek. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sorry, guys. I know I do get sidetracked and I'm very naughty. So grab your next colour and pull your loop through as you would normally every other row. Pop your thread over. Give yourself a nice tail for weaving in later. Okay, so we are now officially going to chain up three like we've been doing. One, two, three, all along. Now instead of putting two double crochets in this centre, we are going to put three double crochets in this centre. One, two, and three. All right, pass that over. We are going to chain two, one and two. Then we are going to put four double crochets in that next space. Oh, I'm lying. I'm lying. We needed to chain three, not two. Because, see that down there? We have to be able to fit that double set up the top. So we're chaining. Oh, I still didn't do it right. I'm <laughs> chaining three. Hello, wake up, Mary. <laughs> and now we're putting our four double crochets in the next space. I'm hoping this makes sense to you guys. When you're looking at your work, it should actually make sense. And I'll explain it to you in a second. Stop that for a minute. So you should have, above your cluster set there, you should have four, three chains, right? Four double crochet, three chains. Then four double crochet, two chains, because that's a one cluster set. Two chains, two chains. You might need another two chains to jump into there, which we're going to do in a minute, and then you'll do your, your double, your four chain, or your three chains. All right. Sorry, that did sound a little confusing. I'll I'll do that first set, and then you'll be able to understand. Chain one and two, and then you just put four double crochets in here. Three and four. Chain one and two, and then you put four double crochets in the next one. Two, three, 
and four i'm sorry guys am i going too fast i do apologize when i'm not on on screen i tend to uh, go through each row very quickly I'm, i will slow down i apologize okay so chain one and two and then you put four double crochets in there one two three four and chain two one and two and then you do the same in the next space one two three and four and then what we are doing here because we have a double cluster set underneath it we are going to chain three one two and three now we're going to put another four double crochets in there one two three and four pull that loop up so i can show you what we're going to do next okay so what you have is four double crochets chain three above your double cluster set four double crochet crochets chain two four double crochets chain two four double crochets chain two four double crochets chain two and in four double crochets chain three okay so above every cluster double cluster set you see that will be three double crochets above the others will just be two i hope that makes sense all right so in actual fact you're doing one two three four i'm sorry one two three and three you're doing three single clusters they're all single cluster sets i have I'm, i've just confused myself as well as confusing you i do apologize just remember on top of that you're doing three on top of each one you're doing two 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 and then on top of that one you're doing three so that's all you need to remember for this round go ahead complete the round get to there and i shall meet you up okay so <laughs> the blanket is getting um or whatever you want to call it granny circle mandala blanket is getting very big it's not even able to fit in the actual screenshot now but uh you know in the, in the promo you'll get to see how how big it does become and uh you know as we go along i will always show you a long shot eventually of each section so now we are up to the end of this row. now uh where are we up to now there's your uh, your three chains over that double cluster set so this must be two we've done two chains we're going to put three double crochets in that last space one better make that four sorry <laughs> we're doing four on this round sorry about that guys two three and oops out of screen sorry guys four chain one and two and then of course we're going to do what we've been doing all along slip stitching into that top chain pull the loop through and snip and get ready for your next color okay so let's see how much we can fit in if you look carefully at the blanket right now um, i'm getting a little worried <laughs> because i'm finding it wobbling a little bit okay however you know let's not jump to conclusions yet it may straighten out especially when we add the next rows which will be the tighter rows okay so we're going to start with our next color which i believe is pink which is white okay so of course we don't start in the place where we finished off well i don't anyway but i will start in a triple space okay so let's blow this up a little bit okay my stand is a little bit wobbly today for some reason guys so i do apologize if it moves around a bit okay so we're popping our hook in and as we've been doing all along we pop a loop through and pull your thread over chain up three one two and three i might tighten that a little bit it's a little bit loose pull it over a bit then we're going to put two double crochets in there one and two chain one and then three double crochets in there because remember it's the chain three space and the chain three space you need to put the double cluster set and yours truly has forgotten how many chains in between. I think it's two. OK, 
Okay, one and two. Yes, it is. My apologies there, guys. I do these patterns and I don't write them down. <laughs> and I forget. <laughs> it's always one, isn't there? Okay, so we're chaining two, one and two. And then we're popping into the very next space. Whoops. One, two. I'll just grab that white thread. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I was not prepared. <laughs> Three. All right. I'm trying to fit everything in now, hey? It's far too big now. <laughs> Chain one and two. And then you're putting three double crochets in your next one. One, two. And of course, it just happens to knot up right now. I'm at the end of this white thread, so it's just done a little bit of <laughs> yarn bath there. <laughs> okay. So what we've done so far is a double cluster set, your single, and we're halfway through that next single. Three, one and two, and then one. Two, three, chain one and two, and then one. Oh, that's oh, that's only because it's that end thread right there. Silly me. So we're going to pop into that place there, space right there, crocheting over that thread. One, two, and three. Chain one and two. Yes, and then we're in, and this is our third space, one of the three chains. So we're going to do a double cluster set in there. Again, if you're not sure when you get up to that three chains, you don't know how the difference is between the three chains and the two chains, just remember your double cluster set is where we did our three chains. So chain one, and then one, two, and three loop up and I'm about to show you what to do next which is really good because I've got a whole lot of yarn bath there which I'll have to fix up later oh I think I've pulled the thread through oh no there it is sorry guys I'm a little unorganized today aren't I okay so you need to for this row your double cluster set one two three four singles and then your double cluster set and in between each it's chain two except your double cluster set has chain one all right so you pretty much know what you're doing because we've done it throughout the um whole granny mandala now what we're going to do we're going to finish this row then i think where do we start with i can't remember what we started with now we started with the orange didn't we yes so one two three four and then we've got one more row to do and then we'll talk okay I'll catch you up. Don't forget to keep going on with this and I'll catch up when you get to here. Won't be a moment. Okay, here we are at the end of this row here. It's very nice. <laughs> I know, I know I'm getting excited. It does look like it may wobble a little bit in those bumpy corners there. Little bumps. We'll see. We will see. Okay, I've chained, oops, out of frame there, sorry guys. I've chained two and I'm just going to jump into that next space that has, of course, little bits of my hair in there. I tell you what, I'm molting, guys. Okay, so we are putting our three double crochets in that very last space or wherever you started off, I'm not really sure. Chaining one and, oops, don't lose a stitch like I just did there, sorry guys. And two. And then, yes, we are going to slip stitch into that nice tight stitch. Oh, that's nice and loose for a change. <laughs> in there. Chain one, pull up that loop. Grab your little scissors. And mine are very little. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> okay. I oh, know I've had smaller, but that just looked cute. Okay. And we cut our white. And I don't think I'll be able to fit the whole thing in now. It's starting to look extremely large. So as you can see, it does bobble just that little tiny bit. 
but it's not as bad as it did when we first started. And I'm hoping this very next row, or the next two rows that we do, will um, stop the bubble. We're hoping. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Double fingers crossed. <laughs> We're relying on fingers crossed and not the maths. <laughs> it's funny. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's get serious. All right. Let's get serious. Okay. So, as you know me, I don't like to start where an end was cut, but it doesn't matter. You can start there if you like. Yours truly will just start from somewhere else. So, I'm just going to find a spot anywhere. This row is going to be very, very basic. We are going to... Oh, are we onto the green? One, two... Hang on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. Blue, orange, purple, pink, white, green, blue. Okay. Blue, orange, purple, pink, white, green. Yes, we are. I'm anticipating that next row being blue. So, guys, we have another row <laughs> after this. <laughs> Hello. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So this row here, guys, is going to be extremely basic. It's only this that we've got the, the, the circle itself, the mandala itself, is really big now. So it's going to take us longer to get through them. But it is very basic. It's just chaining up one, two, and three. And you're double crocheting over that thread again, one and two. So initially, you really should have three double crochet. Although that one's a little bit loose. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I've been working too hard tonight, I think. <laughs> Two. There we go. That's better. And three. Okay. So there's your three. We're going to chain two or one and two. Bring that little thread back. Oh, is this, um, is this too far for you guys? Let me bring it up a bit. That's better. Easy, easy. It's going to get even easier. We're just going to pop into the next space and do three double crochets. Two and three. And chain one and two. And exactly the same. So this row you're going to love because it's too easy. No counting, no nothing. Well, when you say no counting, I automatically know three double crochets chain two in my brain now. So I don't even have to count anymore. It just automatically does it. <laughs> well, my hands automatically do it. Okay, let's pull that up, loop up a little bit. All right, so this is what I would like for you to do. Go three double crochets, chain two, all the way around your granny circle or mandala. Okay, and at the end of this row, we shall meet up again to do our final row for this tutorial. In this part. <laughs> There may be a next part. Well, there will be because eventually you've got to do a border. But wait until we finish that final row after this green because I have some interesting news. <laughs> I'll meet you up. Okie dokie. We are here at the end of this row too. I know these rows are taking so long now, guys. And that's that's a good sign because it means... Oh, I've got a bit of an up there. It, it means that um, we are nearing the end of whatever size you want your blanket to be. Uh, yours truly is going to keep going, of course, and I'm sure you guys are going to keep going. I'm just going to have to tuck it under now because I'm running out of space. Okay, so um, I have one more space in between that one chain space. So I'm going to chain one and two. And then I'm going to put three double crochets in the very last space. Whoops, like we've been doing all the way through this row. Two and three. Chain one and two. And then we obviously do our slip stitch in the beginning of the row like we've been doing all the way through i mean you guys are professional at this now aren't you <laughs> we've been doing so well now before when i said to you oh better blow this out a bit second have a look that um stick around for this next row because i'm going to have some news for you okay so as you know this is part three of our blanket now i remember saying to you in the past that this could never happen and every time we do it it'll wobble and this and that is wobbling just a tad not a lot very minimal in comparison to what it did when it was a lot smaller in that very first series if you uh, want to see the first series i will leave the links to the first series in the description box down below and it's only a very small piece okay 
Uh, what else can I say? We are going to do a one more row. Now the best news is, and you're going to love this, when we do this last row, I'm going to do a drum roll. <laughs> when we do this last row, what I want you to do is go back to part two. Do part two and part three over and over and over again until you get to your desired length. Yay! <laughs> Pretty exciting, huh? So that's all I want you to do. So we're going to do one more row and then we'll meet up at the end of this row and, um, and then we'll talk about what we're going to do for a border. So the next row is, your next colour is, well, mine is blue, the light blue. Again, I'm going to start where there are no ends. So I will start, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn mine over and find a place where I can't see any ends, which is right there. Pop your little hook in and it doesn't matter where you start. Actually, no, I won't. I'll start where, where we've always been starting, right in a double set, okay? Well, it's not actually in double set. It's on top of the next set of the double set, if that makes any sense. Okay. So we pull up a loop. Okay. Now this row is going to be the same. We are going to put three double crochets, chain two, in every space, except for when we see that double cluster set there. That's where we put three double crochets, chain three. Okay. So we go one. Whoops. That didn't go too well two and three and then we do two double crochets one oh, yeah, i'm messing up here aren't i guys oh look at that split 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 let's try it again <laughs> two i always have teething problems don't i at the beginning of the row <laughs> and three okay pop that thread at the back now remember this is a double cluster set underneath so we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. I'm just going to find my thread, sorry guys. Mm. Awkward. It's very big now, the blanket, so it's quite awkward. I'm hoping you're using a thicker yarn than me. This yarn is a bit thin, so it's a little bit soft. But anyway, that's fine. So now we are going to put three double crochets in your very next space. One two and three then we're going to chain two one and two three double crochets in the next two three chain one and two and three double crochets in the next two three Chain one and two, and three double crochets in the next. It's going to change in a minute, guys, I promise. <laughs> two and three. It's like we're doing that previous row again, but not. Because when we get to that double cluster set, we need to chain three. Okay, so chain one and two, because we're still in the cluster set there. I think the next one's coming up soon. One, two, and three. Chain one and two. Now we jump into this chain space and do three double crochets, two and three, and then we, I hope I'm not going too fast for our newbies, I do apologise, one, two and three, we're chaining three here because we've got a double cluster set underneath there, second last row, or third last row before it, one, two, and three that's good timing because i've noticed my thread has just knotted up anyway we'll just pull that up a bit i'll fix it up off air so you guys don't have to sit there and wait all right so in this row you're doing exactly what you did in all your other previous rows there you're doing one three chains one two three four five six three chains one two three four five six three chains one two three four five six three chains and so on and in between each one of these spaces here you're doing two, two chains you're only doing the three where you see the double cluster set okay and there you go so what i want you to do complete this round get to here and we shall meet up and have a quick chat before we finish off 
Okay, here we are at the end of our blue row. It's very exciting, isn't it? <laughs> we are going to put, oh, we've chained two, yes. We are going to put our last double cluster set, I'm, I'm lying, single cluster set in there. I'm getting a little excited now because I want to talk about what we're going to do next. Chain one and two because we're still in singles. I've already cut my thread because I made a mistake and I had to redo this part again. So I'm just going to pop that in, pull the loop through. I did a double cluster set, that's what I did before. <laughs> and then pull your loop through, cut it and pull it through. Okay, so this is where we are at. If you look carefully at yours, lay it flat down, you will see it might bubble a little bit on those corners where we've got our double cluster set. That's okay. That will even itself out when we are ready to pop on the border. Now, what you have to focus on now is doing parts two and parts three over and over and over again until you get to your desired length. However, when you get to these cluster sets, okay, if you look carefully, the cluster set before it, you had a double and then you had one, two, three singles. Now this cluster set, you've got the doubles and you've got one, two, three, four singles. The next one will be one, two, three, four, five. And the next one, six, and then seven and eight, whatever. However, however long and big you want to make it. Oh, well, sorry, I'm trying to make it out as much as I can, but it just doesn't fit in anymore. Sorry, guys. Don't forget, you need to weave in all those ends. And when you get to your desired length, we will focus on doing a border. Now, the new border, it, it is going to be a new border. It's not going to be the same as our previous uh, crochet mandala that we did or crochet granny circle that we did because... If I use that old border, it will it will bubble up like that. It will turn up. Now I'm going to change the border to suit this style of of uh, blanket. Okay. Now I'm going to make mine a lot bigger, as probably you will too. Or you'll want it to. If you want to stop there, then just hold out before we get get onto the border. You may have to hold out a week or so before I decide to do the border. Um, but if you want to continue onto your blanket, do like I said. Make sure you. Focus on adding your extra um, cluster set in there. Do parts two and three over and over again to your desired length. Focusing on adding the extra. Um, and then we will meet in probably a week's time. I'll be discussing on our next vlog, which is only three or four days away, um, what we're going to do. But we did this Granny Mandala circle without having the bubbles. Yay! I'm very excited and you know it's funny because I thought um, I'm taking a risk because I didn't think it would work but it did work and it has bobbled a little bit just on those corners there but I'm going to fix that when we do our border so don't don't stress too much about it all right in the meantime thank you so much for watching uh, if you are new to our channel and you wanted to see um, a lot slower the stitch in a lot slower mode go back to our very old um, our very first mandala that we did which is only a very small one um, and it's a little bit different than this pattern because if you continue on that one it'll sort of turn in a bit um, but if you want to do a little practice on a small uh, mandala then you're best to practice on that other one it doesn't really matter if you want to try this one too take a risk I always say that with newbies take the risk just do it just do it you know what can you do you make a mistake yeah you do it again big deal um so there you go um if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed yet and you would like to receive further tutorials in your inbox you need to um subscribe and hit the little bell button so that you can receive those tutorials and welcome by the way <laughs> um and for my regulars hey guys we did it we made it now looking at our circle it's not exactly a circle is it it's kind of looking I don't know, almost oblong or um, I can't even think of a word now. What can we call it? Hexagon even? Um, whatever. I haven't really decided what the shape looks like. But these points, they will even out when we do our border. So don't stress too much about it. They may not look round yet, but they will become round. Before we do our border, however, we will actually wash and block this piece. Now, the reason I say that is because that will help like when you wash and block, it kind of helps you stretch it all into place. So if it wobbles a little bit, you can stretch it nice and flat. And because we're using cotton, it'll stretch into place. I don't know what you're using. If you used wool, I hope it's a good one. <laughs> it's a good brand. 
uh, if you used acrylic, you may find that that stretching may not help or may not work, but that's okay. I will try to do the border and make it rounder with the border, okay? So don't stress too much. When it comes to doing the border, we will work on it to make it sort of smoother, okay? Don't forget, guys, weave in all your ends. Yours truly did it before I finished this row because I uh, wanted to. <laughs> um, I'll sit down and watch TV while I'm doing this part, so I tend to weave in all those ends while I'm watching TV. Um, so there you go. A little bit of trivia there. <laughs> That's it. That's the, um, the wrong way. That's the right way. So go ahead, grow your blanket up to the size that you like. Uh, give yourself maybe two rows left for a border. Like say if you get to the, the width you want, um, or say if you get to the width you want and you've got another two rows, if you want that a little bit longer, then that's fine. But if you want it to be that width, do two rows le less and then we'll do two rows of the border. Okay, I don't know if it makes sense, but I'll explain it better at the um, when we're doing our vlog on the weekend. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like, share and all that jazz. And what else can I say except <laughs> ciao for now.